Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a date night makeup look. Well, actually it's hair and makeup, but the hair is just like super fast, super easy at the very end of the video. I wanted to create a summertime smoky eye that is still wearable, but yet it has color incorporated into it. So we are not just dealing with the basic browns and blacks and grays like you typically see in a smoky eye, but we are using some color. The color that I have chose is going to look great on all eye colors and all skin tones, and it is so easy to achieve. And I know I say that exact same thing in the beginning of every single video of mine, but I say that because I do truly mean that and I know that for a fact because when I'm creating a makeup look I ask myself is the average woman who is not a professional makeup artist going to be able to achieve this look and is it going to look good on everybody all eye colors and all skin tones and 90% of the time the answer is yes to both questions and so I mean that when I say that in the intro of my video I'm not just saying it to say it I mean it so this look is easy to achieve and it is fun to create and it is fun to do and it's still going to look sultry and sexy and smoky but you're incorporating some color so it's not just that basic run of the mill every weekend smoky eye you get it you get it okay I just want to quickly say thank you so much, so, so, so much to those of you who just outpoured so much love on my last video. I was not expecting that and I was blown away. I was very nervous to upload that video and kind of on the fence about it. Like, oh gosh, do I do this? Do I not do this? And you guys <laughs> were, you guys are just amazing. Like, you have once again just confirmed that I truly feel like friends with you. Like you're my best friends, you're my family, like I love you guys. It was just, it was awesome. And I just wanna say thank you. I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm so grateful for you. And that just, it made my day, it made my week, it made my weekend. It's gonna make my month, it's probably gonna make my year. So thank you again. I hope you enjoy this video. I love you so much and I'll see you soon, bye. I'm going to start by prepping the face. I am going to use MAC Fix Plus. This is a facial spray infused with vitamins and minerals. It's super hydrating and it's gonna really help the foundation to adhere to the skin. Then I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation. This is Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation. This specific foundation really looks like skin on the face. It's a beautiful luminous texture that looks very natural. I'm buffing this in, pressing it into the skin using a Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki. Then I'm gonna go in with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. At this moment, I am mixing shade NW20 and NW25. I can't commit to the fairness of 20, but yet I'm not quite at 25, and I don't want a super intense highlight, so I am mixing at the moment. I am blending this in and out with the Sigma F86 brush, the most amazing concealer brush of all time. Make sure when you are using this concealer to get it nice and generous on the lids because Pro Longwear Concealer does have a technology in it to prime for eyeshadow, and it won't crease. Then I'm gonna go in with MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in the shade Light Boost. This is a yellow-based highlighter which works for my skin tone. They do have three different colors so all skin tones can find a shade that works for them. Doing this step will give the face more dimension, therefore looking more natural. Then I'm gonna go in with Anastasia Brow Wiz and fill in my brows. I'm just going to do this very quickly on camera because I have done this a million times and if you wanna see an extensive detailed eyebrow tutorial, I'll link it down below. Moving on to shadow, we are going to go in with MAC Soft Brown as our first shade. This color is so necessary. It's not a shade that you're like, oh my gosh, that's beautiful, I have to have it, but it's a shade that you'll be thankful once you own. It really blends out any color and works on every skin tone. I'm using a fat buffing blending brush, and this is from Sigma, and it is the E40, taking it from inner corner to outer corner in the high point of the crease. Then I'm going to go in with MAC Star Violet. This is one of my favorite purples to work with because it is a neutral purple. It's not too warm and it's not too cool, so it really complements pretty much everybody. I'm patting that all over the lid with an E55, and then once we get up to the crease, I'm going to go in windshield wiper motions and really press it in there so that we can go in and blend it out. I'm using an E38 brush, and this is completely clean. You can add some more soft brown if you want to make it a little bit more intense, but my brush is clean, and I'm doing little circular motions back and forth. Once you get to this step, really take your time in blending because it will make a huge difference. Then going in with Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is such a beautiful highlighter. I'm going to use a F, F70? Yeah, F70 concealer brush as my highlight brush. And look at the difference that makes. It pulls the brow up higher. It helps blend out that color in your upper crease. And it just gives such a glamorous look. Then I'm going to take any cold pencil. One of my favorites is the L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner, which is from the drugstore. This one that I'm using right now is the Sigma Eclipse. It's black and it's super creamy, and I'm just going to push it densely into that lower upper lash line, I mean, on the outer corner of the eye. And then with any small blending brush, I'm just going to start buffing back and forth, 
back and forth and this will blend that out and give more of a smoky appearance. So as you see, that line is harsh and then I will just push it around back and forth, really work with that product and this will make it look a little bit smokier when we go in with lashes. I'm going to just coat my lashes. You can totally just do this, curl your lashes and move on, but I am going to add falsies for the drama. So any mascara will do since it's gonna be covered up with lashes. And then I'm going to use Velour Strike a Pose. And look at how fluffy they are. These are one of my favorite lashes ever. I absolutely love them. They are so beautiful, so fluffy, and they look so natural and they're easy to apply. I'm excited if you can't tell. Then I'm gonna go in with MAC Pro. This is a highlighting powder called Emphasize. And with a Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush, I'm going to just press this into the skin. I prefer pressing before swiping because pressing it into the skin will really help it look a little bit more natural and the foundation will grab onto the powder. Then we're gonna go in with MAC Sketch. If you don't own this, I highly, highly recommend you do. It is the prettiest wine color purple and it seriously looks good on every one. I'm going to take a flat definer brush and put that from the inner corner all the way to outer corner. Then I'm going to grab any pencil brush and just buff that out with a little bit of soft brown on my brush. I'm using an ever so slight amount of soft brown. I typically put a lighter shade on my blending brush just because it will really help it blend out a lot better and easier. Then I'm gonna just line my waterline with a black cold pencil again. This is from Sigma. I really like the lower lash line to be very smoky, so I'm gonna go in and blend that out again, all the way from inner corner to outer corner. A really smoky lower lash line is really on trend right now, so I am loving this. I'm gonna just pop that same Mary Luminizer by the Balm in the inner corners, just to really open up my eyes and bring a little bit more attention back to them so they don't get sunken in and look like raccoon eyes. I'm going to mascara my bottom lashes, which I recommend to all of you. Even if you feel like your bottom lashes are tiny, this does make a difference. Then I'm going to contour. I am using Benefit Hoola Bronzer, an oldie but a goodie, and for your surprise, I will be using an F05 brush to contour today instead of the NARS Eda. I have been loving this. I wanted to find a new brush to contour with because NARS Eda is always sold out, so difficult to get your hands on, and I thought, we gotta find something that's just as good, if not better. So, so far, I love this. The length of this brush and the density is impeccable. Then I'm gonna go in with Becca Damselfly Blush, which is such a beautiful, pale, corally pink shade. So pretty, and I am using a Makeup Geek Face Buffer Brush to apply this blush, and I'm just going to buff that out, going backward towards the temple. Then I'm gonna go in with MAC Myth to finish the lips. This is a super, super nude color. It's a little bit too nude for my taste, so I'm going to go over it using Color Your Smile Lip Gloss and the shade Coral Craze. I'm going to remove the plastic from my mirror because a lot of people forget to remove that plastic and it's like, why doesn't my mirror work? Remove that plastic, then you have a mirror and you can see what you're doing. So that completes the, what I consider, perfect nude coral lip. So now that we have that, we're just gonna set it with some MAC Fix Plus just to sandwich it, make it look a little bit more natural and very hydrated. Now that we're done with the makeup look, let's move on to hair. <laughs> I am going to be using the Lily Hair by Bella Me. These are thick, 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 260 grams and 20 inches long. I do have a detailed video about Bella Me showing exactly how to clip in the extensions. I will link that below if you're interested. But I'm just going to clip in three separate pieces of hair, and that is all I need because it's so thick, and then I'll move on to curling. I am using the Bellamy 6-in-1 Hair Curler. This specific wand comes with six different sizes, so you can get big curls, small curls, medium curls, all different shapes. I am using the 25 millimeter, and I'm curling this away from my face, going backward. I'm gonna do my whole head and then fluff it up. Once my hair is completely cooled down, I am then going to brush through all of my hair. This will really make everything look so much more natural and you won't be able to see any difference between the extensions and your natural hair. I'm just using some hairspray to lock it all in and you are good to go. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.